Hey y'all, it's Jeremy Osterberger at BIC Magazine. We're at the Gulf Coast Industry Forum, hosted by the Economic Alliance Houston Port Region. I'm with Todd Bainey. Todd is plant manager of Oxychem Laporte. Todd, how's it going? Fantastic. Okay, Todd, first question first. How are those volunteers doing and will the Tennessee Volunteers win the SEC East? Absolutely. You can count on it. We've got the mighty Florida Gators this weekend. We're going to knock it out of the park, shock the world. I love the confidence, Todd. So, uh, Todd, you've been with uh, at the Oxychem Laporte site for six years. Tell us how you got there. What's your path? Wow. So I, I've been with OxyChem for 16 years. Uh, I actually started at the Laporte facility, was hired as a superintendent, and uh, got the opportunity to go to uh, several different sites. So I became production leadership positions in Kansas. Uh, was in a uh, had an opportunity to build a greenfield site in Tennessee, uh, and then I came back to Louisiana as a production manager at another OxyChem site. And now I'm back here at Laporte. Uh, for my second round as plant manager and uh, spent two-thirds of my career here at the site. So over in Louisiana you had to deal with all those amazing Louisiana State University fans. Abs there. Absolutely, LSU fans and the people there are fantastic. I go Tigers for all those wonderful purple and gold folks out there. So uh, Todd, let's uh, let's get into a little bit more in your background. You know, you, you mentioned you were in five different states. You know, uh, you're now at uh, Oxychem Laporte. What makes that site unique? Well, I, I tell you, the what makes the site unique is really the challenges. It's a very complex site. Uh, we like to say it's an engineer's paradise, so a lot of different technologies, a lot of different challenges, and uh, there's always something to work on and improve, and, and that's what I enjoy. Not only are the people fantastic, but the equipment and the technology is really challenging, and it's uh, it's fun, fun place to work. And vinyl chloride monomers is the uh, primary product produced? Absolutely. What, what else is produced at the site? Well, so uh, in order to manufacture uh, VCM, uh, you start out with ethylene dichloride and we manufacture EDC and uh, we purify that, we send it to furnaces and we crack the EDC in furnaces to make VCM. I want to uh, flip over to investments and projects, Todd. You mentioned an investment, uh, I think it was $1 billion in the Battleground facility. Can you tell us a little more about that? Absolutely. So again, recently we announced a $1 billion investment into our Battleground chloralkali facility. Um, really an outstanding opportunity for that plant. Uh, long-term viability supporting you know well over 200 high paying jobs and it's really going to help us meet our uh, mission and our ESNG and sustainability goals. It's a conversion project so we're transitioning from the asbestos diaphragm technology into a non-asbestos membrane technology and uh, with that you know we're going to have a, a product that really meets our customers needs so it's really market driven with the membrane caustic having a more purity a higher purity than the diaphragm caustic. It's uh, where the market is going. And uh, we're also solving issues with regards to the reliability of asbestos supply and the, um, and the ability for us to continue to use it based on some of the regulatory issues out there that we have, uh, even though we've safely used asbestos for well over 40 years in our industry. But as you know, you know chlorine uh, technology is used in drinking water purification, but it's also an essential building block in uh, medicines, pharmaceuticals, crop sciences, as well as uh, you know, uh, supporting the business that I'm in, which is the VCM and PVC, which builds plastics for uh, our medical uses. So essential building blocks for everything. It makes, um, you know, I think, our lives better and a fantastic opportunity uh, for that plant and for our local community. Todd, that battleground investment, kind of, where is that at in a timeline, you know, as far as, uh, you know, start, completion? So, you know, we're going through engineering right now. Uh, we expect to do groundbreaking at the end of 2023 and look to be fully operational in 2026. So it'll okay. be fast. Todd, when it's up and running, we're coming out. Fantastic. Come on out. So, Todd, I'll wrap up with this last question. So much talk about workforce development, retention. We had a tremendous, about 30% of the market turnover uh, pretty much since COVID started as far as um, uh, legacy employees retiring. Uh, just talk a little bit about onboarding and retention. What is OxyChem doing and what can the industry do better? Well, I think um, you really have to look hard at your culture and what type of envi working environment that you want to have. I think it's never been more important than it ever has. Uh, you know, people want to work and they want to have good high paying jobs, but they don't want to be uh, working all the time. So you got to make sure that you staff the plants well. You've got to train them, make sure they understand the whys of what we do and how we do it. And they got to feel like they have a voice. So, you know, when we manage projects and we uh, try to improve the plants, there's always time and efforts to get feedback on what they think needs to be done to make things better. And it could be facilities, it could be, um, you know, certain processes that need help but we're always trying to support them. And, and when you have a good support network and great feedback, people generally stay. Um, I think our industry as a whole, we're all growing so fast. 
getting people in our industry is going to be a challenge and we, we still have to reach out to our local communities, our community college and make sure people know what the opportunities are, um, you know, the, what the pay ranges are and so that we can continue to fill these jobs as those of us retire. That's right, Todd. Well put. Well, Todd, I know you're busy. Thank you for your time with Big Magazine. I enjoyed uh, hanging out with you and uh, uh, look forward to hanging out with you again. All right. Thank you.